And join us for the Island Challenge Cup. Start here, Durham University in the Platinate Purple versus Cambridge University in that Cambridge Blue. This is a new event this year for Women's University Aids, and it's great to see the event absolutely chock a block with talent. Yeah, we spoke earlier just about crews who will know each other, crews who have spent the season rowing continually together. Look no further than the left hand side of our screen or what is now the background in Cambridge University. This crew, seven of the athletes who were victorious in the boat race in April. So they will have every single inch of each other's stroke covered, memorized, and able to understand how each other are going to row. And you can see here Cambridge exercising that, making sure that they are able to row perfectly in cohesion. And, and you can see here leading this race up against Durham. Yeah, Durham are going to be up against it, weren't they? Racing a, a winning blue boat. I'm sure lots of us watched that race at Ely down, down the ditch earlier on in the year. Absolutely cracking race in the women's event there, and they're putting that to good use here. I mean, we'll, it's an absolute classic thing to say, but one of the things the Cambridge crew are going to have is endurance. They train for a 20-minute race, don't they? That, that's the pinnacle of their year. And I'd, I'd, I'd almost be as bold to say this is like an add-on bonus for them, this, this regatta here. They're, they're big, big pinnacle of their race is the boat race, and then they see who's around and see who wants to put a crew together. And luckily for them, seven of the crew decided to put their hands up, and they're here and doing a great job of it. And that's exactly what I was going to say. It's very rare for us to see even a partially complete blue boat competing at Henley. To see seven of the nine athletes here racing as a crew at Henley is actually quite a privilege because we don't often get to see them beyond the boat race because rightly so, they have a life to contend with. They have other things on their social and, and, and professional calendars that they want to try and deal with post boat race, which is of course an all consuming six to nine months. So fantastic to see these girls, particularly in the middle of August, competing here in Cambridge Colours and especially in the newly sort of vetted Island Challenge Cup in Orville in 2021. And we can't wait to see this one unfold through today, tomorrow, and of course, on to finals day on Sunday. With Cambridge here, you know, this one, this one not necessarily over. I know an eight, a uh, length in an eight is a long way, but coming up towards Remenham, Durham bow just flirting with the stroke or the stern of the Cambridge bow. Can Durham mount a comeback? It probably needs to be in the next 15, 20 strokes. They need to wind, they need to start putting serious pressure on Cambridge if they're going to overcome this one. Yeah, this is when your bow person has to turn around and say where you are. Because, you know, you can't always see if you're in the stern of that, that boat. Bit of warning there. Cambridge getting told to move back. But Eddie Cushion from originally from Northwich Rowing Club, we've seen a lot of Northwich here, um, is going to look over and probably say, they're right there. I can feel their puddles. And we hear it time and time again, it's go now. Through Remnant, stay in touch, anything can happen. Stay in touch with them. But have this Cambridge crew got the endurance and the cohesion to move away? Yeah, we talk a lot about the 2,112 metres that makes up the Henley Raw Regatta course and how that 112 metres can catch crews out who train for the 2,000 metre conventional distance. That shouldn't be a problem for the Cambridge girls, as you rightly point out, Jess have a larger distance in mind for much of their season. You can see here Cambridge now winding up for the final 400, 500 metres. And I think looking decisive, looking strong, this is, a, this is a decisive move here from Cambridge. I think they've had enough, they've decided now we're going to end this race. We're going to put pay to any efforts that Durham have to overcome us. And I think that's worked. They've broken clear, elastic band snapped, and it's going to be incredibly difficult for Durham to come back from here. I think these athletes can take away win or lose this regatta is they're in the inaugural event. This is the first time this event has ever been here. They really are taking that first step on, on the ladder of, of history of women's university rowing and it's happening right here, right now in 2021. They can always look back on that and I'm super proud of, of everything that the stewards have achieved by putting this race in and I'm sure it isn't easy to slot extra races into Henley Royal but these rowers here can, you know, put their boat on the rack and be proud of what they've done and, and the history they're making down there on that course. A hundred percent. Credit to the stewards, credit to all the athletes who've decided to compete in this year's staging of the Island Challenge Cup, particularly in the difficult year or difficult 18 months we've all had. It's just fantastic to be here at a regatta, but also witnessing history. And every single race in this event is history. Every win, the first piece of silverware that's lifted on Sunday will be will be history made, chapters written. Cambridge will be edging and, and hoping that they can be a part of that history. It'll be it will complete a phenomenal season for those girls if they can. And this is as good a start as any beating rivals Durham on the Friday. Eyes now on for the Saturday. Little 
cheeky bucket rig there, and the two and the three seeks. That's when you run the same side. Um, see a lot of that in the fours, not so much in the eights, but um, interesting rigging to see. Rope now. I think they've only just led up now Cambridge University Boat Club, allowing them to savour those last final few strokes of this Friday race. And Cambridge University Boat Club will take the win in the Island Challenge Cup over Durham University.